What's up everyone, on today's video I'm going to show you guys how to update uh, your PlayStation 5 SSD and how to install it. Um, I will be using the XPG uh, Gaming S70. Uh, this one has a sequential reading speed of 7000. Uh, so that's what you definitely need for the PlayStation 5. So stay tuned for that. And um, I'm going to show you guys what you need to do before you start uh, the process on this. We're also going to be replacing the kind of um, shell on the PlayStation 5 and installing a red shell. Uh, so it's, it looks kind of cool. But let's jump into the PlayStation 5 and see what you need to do. So for starters, you need to make sure that your PlayStation 5 is has the latest software update. So we're gonna jump into the PS5 right now. All right, so we're gonna update the um, controller first. It's telling us to plug it in. Okay, with the PlayStation controller uh, installed, I mean updated, uh, we're gonna see if we need any updates. As of now, go to system, software update. Uh, yeah. And up to date. Check over the internet. The latest version is actually installed. Okay. Um, All right, so all the updates have been downloaded. It's just giving you um, some of the things that you could do. What is this? Um, uh, for now, we're gonna just uh, cancel and delete this. We'll worry about the later once we have more storage. Um, I was playing the beta for Call of Duty, but obviously it's no longer active, so um, so that's what you need to do. Just make sure that you actually have these proper software update to the latest version of it. And then once you do that, you are good to go. So now we're gonna turn off the PlayStation 5. All right guys, so one of the first things that you need to do is to remove the bottom uh, plate on the PlayStation 5. Just put that on the side since you will be using it later on. Okay, with the bottom plate already removed, lift from back here and push down. So, like so. And it comes off very easily, by the way. It may seem like it's gonna break, but it will not. Then the next thing that you have to do, is you remove the faceplate, you have to undo this screw. Once it's out, just put it on the side for now. You don't need it. Take this out. Open your SSD. Again, in this case, I will add the links in the description below which SSD is this one. Uh, this is um, the XPG 2 terabyte N.2. So these are the specs.
Sorry, it took a while, but this is what I'm installing in this PS5. So all you have to do, um, it's remove this tiny screw and back here. Okay. Place this little thingy over here. Your end that tube would only fit one way. So once you put it in, you push it. Once it clicks, you are set. Take your included screw. Once it's tight enough, the cover may not fit by the way. So, but it's okay. Cause you technically don't need the cover. Um, in there, so just put the cover on the side. All right, so once you have your covers, once you snap onto play into place, you are set to go. Make sure there is no gaps in between <laughs> red and white. Uh, we're not going to keep it like that, by the way. We're going to replace both panels. There we go. Take your back panel and do the same thing. Make sure it's nice and flush. Okay. Mm. All right, once you make sure there is no gaps whatsoever, your red, P red and black PS5 is looking great. Looks awesome. All right, let's put the uh, stand back on since uh, we are using the stand, so take your included screw. Okay, so we're gonna put the stand back on. Take your included screw and tighten it back up. And just like that, you have a red and black PS5. What do you guys think? All right, so now we're gonna plug it back in so I can show you what happens after the software update is done and what you need to do. With the PlayStation uh, plugged in, we're gonna power it on. To use your M.2 SSD, you need to format it. When you format the M.2 SSD, all data will be deleted. If you want to continue using the PlayStation 5 without formatting your SSD, turn off the PlayStation 5 and then remove the SSD. Note, to save data, screenshots, video clips can be saved to the M.2. So, um, it's basically, you cannot for, um, uh, save video into the SSD, just games. So, we're going to format the 
and that too. The read of your Ender 2 is as follows. It's an experience, uh, if you experience any problem while playing games installed on the Ender 2, storage tries to install it in the console storage. Read speeds of 6196 megabytes per second. That's awesome. Okay. Your Ender 2 has been formatted to change your uh, where your games are installed. Go to settings, storage, install location, and safely re remove your Ender 2 and return uh, and turn off to your PS5 first. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so that is how you change the stories. So let's just check this for now. So end that two, we have games and apps. Well, I don't know why we have games and apps. That's not in there. Other, uh, this storage is really reserved for system data. Um, blah, blah, blah. The amount of space to serve depends on how the console has been used. Okay, so we have our two terabytes, right? As you can see up above. And we also have our internal, which we have certain games in here. Um, so these are the games that we usually currently play under gallery and media. I did save some games, some clips and stuff like that. I'll be playing Call of Duty, um, Black Ops and Hardcore. Uh, other than that, there's nothing really in this PlayStation 5. Um, so yeah, that's how you update the storage on the PlayStation 5 guys. If you have any questions about how to do this, please leave it in the comments section below. And um, you know, please give me some feedback on how can I improve my content. I'll appreciate that. Until the next one guys, stay safe, be well, see ya.